Hello everybody, welcome back to another mid-journey tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to blend multiple images, and I'm going to show you how to blend them in two different ways, and I'm going to show you how to get the exact aspect ratio that you want as well. What do I mean by that? You can blend a landscape, a portrait, and a square picture, for example, and then your end result can be 16 by 9, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's just get cracking. The first way, if you just want a basic blend where you want one of three options, you can go square, portrait, or landscape, all you got to do is this. You got to go to your finder or your whatever you're, uh, if you're on Explorer, and then grab three images. So I'm going to go ahead and go forward slash blend, and when you do that, you now get the blend option, and you're going to see your image one, image two, and plus four optional. And when you click on that, I hit space bar, it gives you two images to start with. So I'm going to go ahead and grab two images of Angelina Jolie for scientific purposes, of course. Uh, so, you know, for science, there's one picture of her. This looks pretty straightforward so far. I'm going to grab a second picture of her straightforward so far. And then I'm going to now click right here on this plus four more. I'm going to click on that. And when you do that, you get a kind of hidden option here. And you can see here that I can add in another third image. So we're going to add a third image in for, for giggles. Why not? I'm going to add in, maybe I'll add in this one here. Okay, whatever. Now, before I click on anything else, you will notice that these images are all different sizes. This is 1665, 2048, 1500, 1943. This one's 960 by 960. All different sizes. Okay, good. So I've done that. I've added in all three of those images. I'm going to click on plus three more here. And when I do that, you'll see the option to select your dimensions. When I do that, you get one of three options out of the box. Portrait, square, landscape. So I'm going to go with landscape and then I'm going to go ahead and hit enter and it is, oops, I'm going to hit enter again and it's going to produce me a cool little blended image. While it does that, I'm going to show you the second method that gives you more precision. It takes a few seconds longer, but I'm going to show you the second method so you get a precise aspect ratio because you're going to see that this one is rendering out at a default AR or aspect ratio 3.2. The second way to do it is you just upload some images and then we're going to do it this way. So watch, I'm going to go into Finder and I'm going to grab those exact three images. I'll just drag and drop them in. So I'm just dropping them in and hitting enter and then it just saves it and it's going to create a copy or a link inside Discord for me. So let's grab this image here. It doesn't have to be in order. It doesn't matter. And then I'm going to grab, I don't know, what are the, what was the third one? This one, whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm going to drag and drop those three images in. Now watch this. Well, the, okay, well, here's what we produced with the last one. And it is in landscape, but you will note that it, and it's a blend. It, it did exactly what it said it was going to do, but we don't have the exact, uh, the exact aspect ratio you might be wanting. So for the next step, forward slash imagine, just like that. And what we need to do is we need to get the URL for these three images that I just dragged and dropped in and hit enter on. So I'm just going to right click on the first image and I'm going to go down here and I'm going to copy the link. I'm going to paste it in, Command-V or Control-V, then I'm going to hit Spacebar. Then I'm going to go to the second image. Oh, I don't even have to do that. I'm going to copy the link, paste it in. Go to the third image, right-click on it, copy link, paste it in. So we paste it in three links, and you'll see here, this is the this is the uh, where it exists on the Internet. And now I'm going to hit Spacebar, and then I'm going to go dash dash AR space, and I'm going to go 16 by 9. Or let's go 916 just to really show you the, the, the effect. Go 916, so the vertical up and down type style. Hit enter. Now we are going to blend these three images and we're going to get the vertical. I'm going to come back when it's done. All right, welcome back. So here's what we got when I click on it. Yeah, we've got the up and down vertical style. This is a blend of all three images. And those are the two methods that you can use to either quickly blend images or blend them and dial in a specific aspect ratio. 